Hello everybody, data analytics could be a very interesting option for you in 2024. So why don't you check out this video till the very end and let me know if you think data analytics is something that you want to pursue. And let's start this video with the first and the most important question that you need to know. What is data analytics? In simple words, data analytics is nothing but taking the data from different sources and trying to make sense out of it. Let's start with a few examples. Swig is running a lot of ads typically during every single IPL season. Your order, sir. Call me, Bubbly. Now, Swiggy needs to know if the marketing spend is effective versus not. Are people ordering food by looking at these ads? This marketing related data is then analyzed to see how effective are these ads. And this is called as marketing data analytics. Another example could be Flipkart. Flipkart has a lot of delivery boys around the country, different cities. It needs to decide what is the optimal number of delivery boys it needs to have in any given city and it needs to analyze the supply chains, what are the number of deliveries that are happening every single day and all these things lead to supply chain data analytics. Now take an example of a bank and banks need to know what is the potential that a customer will actually go ahead and return the loan amount or would they default on the loan. This is called as credit card analytics. Now you can see data analytics itself can take different shapes and forms but the underlying concept is the same. You analyze data from different sources, customer data, individual data, product data, and then combine these things to make sense and make effective business decisions. And what are some of the jobs in this space? To start with, if you are an undergrad student, if you do not have any kind of exposure in the space of data, you can simply go ahead and apply for data entry job in internshala. Well, this could be a starting point for you and you can gauge whether this field is of interest for you versus not because in data analytics everything apart you will always continue to work on loads and loads and loads of data. The second set of jobs that are available would be in the space of ETL extraction transformation and loading. This is where you will be retrieving data from a lot of different sources using different technologies. The third type of jobs would be related to algorithms. Once you collect and retrieve all this data, you need to build certain statistical models to understand if this decision, if this work is being important versus not. Algorithm development. And then you have to visualize the data and present it to executives, non-executives, functional guys, non-functional guys, so on and so forth. And all these roles come under the umbrella of data analytics. If you are interested in getting into any of these roles, do check out Odin School's instructor-led live six month bootcamp. In this bootcamp, you will learn from the basics of data analytics to the most advanced topics under the expert guidance of some of these industry mentors. Well, if you go through the success stories, you will realize that a lot of folks who attended these boot camps have either transitioned into data analytics or even launched their career into data analytics or upgraded their careers into data analytics. And also one more category of folks who have launched or relaunched their careers after a long corporate break. Once you finish this six month bootcamp, you will be eligible to apply for their 500 plus hiring partners. The placement support would continue for two years where you will be having a lot of mock interview sessions, behavioral sessions and so on. The bootcamp registration fee is 75,000 rupees. But if you apply right now, you would be eligible for EMIs and also different scholarships. Do check out the link in the description box. Now coming back into the video, what are the exit opportunities once you get into the space of data analytics? I myself have worked in Musigma for a very long time. And after Musigma, I went into management consulting at McKinsey. Yes, consulting is a very natural choice after spending a lot of time in data analytics because in even in consulting world, you are doing nothing but data driven decision making. Analysis is what you do every single day. And you get comfortable with doing that as a data analytics 
individual. The other option is for you to grow within the space of data analytics. For example, a lot of my colleagues from Mu Sigma have continued their careers in data analytics and now they lead teams, big teams in the data analytics world in some of the top organizations. The third opportunity is about just jumping into different corporates. This could be a flip card, this could be a bank, this could be an insurance company or whatever it is, but all these companies are also building their data analytics teams. Then finally, you don't ignore the opportunity for you to write a wonderful essay if you are in data analytics and are thinking to go into MBA because you can say very clearly that, hey, I know how to handle data, but I'm coming to MBA so that I understand the business side of the world as well. It's a nice bridge that you can transition through and MBA is a perfect launch pad for you to do that. All these are the different exit opportunities if you are keen to move on from data analytics. And also, almost all of these are high paying jobs. But not just the exit opportunities. If you decide to stay back in the data analytics space as well, according to Michael Pace salary guide from 2023, you would be earning quite a good amount. For example, if you are working for a multinational bank, management consulting, product company, or e-commerce, commerce and internet companies, you would be earning anywhere between 20 to 45 lakhs if you have experience between three to six years. If you spend more than 15 years in digital or data analytics, you would be earning between 75 lakhs per annum to 150 lakhs per annum, which is 1.5 crore per year. However, if you spend your time in a tier two digital or analytics team, for example, domestic banks, third party consulting companies or early stage startups for a three to six year experience range, you would be earning between 18 to 40 42 lakhs and if you decide to spend more than 15 years in the industry you would be earning at least 80 lakhs per annum these are pretty high salaries compared to most of the other industries and what are the companies that you can target for well there are 500 plus companies that odin school has partnered with but on top of that there are pure play analytics companies like latent view analytics fractal analytics and also mu sigma the place where i worked i would highly recommend data analytics as a career to any fresher. Even somebody looking to transition from functional roles to business roles, data analytics could be the transition bridge that you can leverage on. And also there are companies from the corporates like we already discussed. These guys are also looking to hire you. Now you tell me, would you be interested in pursuing data analytics as a career? Well, it worked out wonderfully for me. It helped me transition from Mu Sigma to McKinsey and then get an MBA from INSEAD. And then when I finally jumped back to entrepreneurship world, it did help me because I learned and I admire and I respect the numbers towards any kind of decision I make. And I would never go and make a decision based on my gut right now. I would always look out for that evidence. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again in the next one, do let me know if you want me to speak or cover any more topics related to data analytics and I'll be happy to do that. See you again. Bye-bye.